I read all of the things. I I love Bruce Lipton. I love Joe Dispenza. And it's almost a curse because I know the negative implications of automatic negative thoughts and negative self-talk and finding yourself in this rumination or a cynical perspective. What are practices that you do or that you give some of your clients when it comes to snapping out of it and being able to reframe and look at it positively? Like, we're not going to do that today. We're going to break this negative habit and we're going to do something positive. Yeah, it's a very important question. Well, I mean, your environment determines those thoughts. Your thoughts determine your actions. Your actions determine your results. So you would have to clean up your environment for sure. But let's talk about something practical. You mentioned supplements. You mentioned like NMN and different supplements out there. There is another supplement that also extends those sirtuin genes, like the SIRT1 gene, and it, and it, and it helps protect the, the telomeres. And as it, anti-aging, it's fat burning. Speaking of Dr. Joe Dispenza, uh, he did brain scans on individuals going through his seminars. And when they took this vitamin called vitamin G, he saw 1,200 chemical reactions take place instantaneously that put their body, their brain in this anti-inflammatory state. He saw dopamine, serotonin, GABA, all these amazing chemicals. So I see you writing something down and I know a lot of people are listening. They're like, okay, where do I get vitamin G? Is it on Amazon? Is it at Whole Foods? So vitamin G is the practice of gratitude. I call it vitamin G because it's that powerful. And no, it's free. You don't have to go to the store to get it. But what you appreciate, it appreciates. I mean, my shirt has a pill, a bottle right here. Oh, I love it. Is that yours? Like, that's mine. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll send you one. By I the way. would love one, one, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you one. So I'm a big believer in it. A lot of people hear and I lecture on this on stage because it, even when I go and I speak at keto events, I talk about this because it's everything. What you appreciate, appreciates. And I don't care if you think it's silly. This is a universal law. If you think gravity is not real, you know, what happens if you drop a pen, even if you don't believe it, you see that it is real. Same thing with gratitude. There's a part of the brain called the reticular activating system, the size of your pinky, it's in your brain stem. And it's there because it's the selective seeking mechanism. If you didn't have it, your brain would short circuit. There's millions of different stimulation. You need to filter out what's not important. It's all for the sake of survival, going, going back to that point. So when you buy a... Um, if Candace goes to the mall and she buys a, a beautiful red dress, what, what, are your, what are your favorite brands, by the way? Let's choose one. Favorite brands? Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know if I have Clothing a favorite. Brands. Do you have any? No, I don't know if I have one. I like go okay. to like local places, so I don't know. Okay, so it's a, a specific local shop. This is from Candace Whole Foods, Wendy. actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So let's say you go to a local shop and it has like this custom red dress that – it's like so custom, it's unique and you love it and you buy the dress and all of a sudden you start going, you're wearing it and you start shopping at other places. You notice other, other women have that dress. Did they all buy it because you bought the red dress? The answer is no, they were always there, but now the RS kind of sees it. No, they definitely did because I'm very influential. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. It's a combination of both. <laughs> uh, so what happens is that the dresses were always there. Sorry, Candace. You're just now being able to see it. So with mm -hmm. gratitude, when you focus your attention on what you're grateful for, you get more things to be grateful for. When you focus on what's bothering you and all your problems, you get more problems. And that's exactly how gratitude works. So you change your environment, you practice vitamin G, really feel that vitamin G, do it every day. It's a daily practice. And all of a sudden, those thoughts will shift into um, things. Uh, the thoughts will shift into the thoughts that will manifest the ideal life that you want to create. Yeah, it's kind of creating new roadways. So if you're constantly on the anger highway, that's getting deeper yeah. and deeper and deeper and easier to be there and it's easier to get ticked off at whatever happens. But if you kind of verge off into something else and whether that's gratitude, love, appreciation, whatever you kind of choose that to be, it's like, oh, here's an off ramp. And every time you do that off ramp, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And eventually that becomes your highway instead of just this thing that you have to constantly be conscious of it'll just be second nature i'm not there yet but i do try, yeah. i do catch myself a lot so i'm proud of those small changes of just being a one percent better one percent better and to speak on the telomeres so for people that think your thoughts don't matter your feelings don't matter none of this affects your health there was a recent study that came out that said that boys that didn't have a dad in the home if the dad left before the age of 12, that their telomeres would shrink such, I think it was 12 or 13, and it was like right before puberty, that their telomeres would shrink such that their life expectancy was reduced by about 12 to 13 percent. So wow. yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. So your environment absolutely has a direct implication on your health, your longevity, your health span, um, and probably a lot of things that we don't even know yet. 
Oh, that's interesting. I want to see that study. And that was a great analogy about the highway. I, I totally agree. And look, I'm working on it myself. I wear my vitamin G shirt and there are times and it happens to all of us, but the key is to be aware of it and just short, shorten that curve, right? Where maybe in the past, maybe a month ago, you got angry about something and you stayed in that space for 30 minutes. Now it's just 10 minutes you're in that space and you're shifting your energy, right? It's just a matter of like being aware. Neville Goddard said, we are only limited by weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. And I mm-hmm. really believe that to be the case. So say it's with gratitude. You just want to be aware. And when you find yourself in that negative space, Uh, Be aware of it and then shift your energy because where you shift that energy, it will expand. 